Hello folks, Waves is back from Slide Nerd. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about something called typecasting. You probably saw this word somewhere and you're baffled thinking what the hell this means. Don't worry too much about it, we'll find out what it means. So in, in simple words, typecasting is all about converting from one data type to another type. You often have different types in Java, right? Like you have byte, you have short, you have int, long, float, double, char, boolean. These are the primitive types you have, right? So the thing is, often there may be a situation when we need to change from one type to another type, right? Like if you calculate the average of three numbers, say one, two, three, the average is two. But what if you calculate the average of one, three, and four? The average is not a integer, right? It's like a double, it's a decimal number. So in such situations, you're often faced with the question how to converting an integer to a double or converting a double to an integer and so on. So here we have two things. We have a bigger data type and we have a smaller type. Now remember, not everything is same size, right? Byte is one byte, short is two bytes, int is four, long is eight, float is four, double is eight, char is one, I think char is two. So in such cases, we need to convert from a smaller to a bigger type or a bigger to a smaller type, right? Now if you have a smaller type, it can easily fit inside a bigger one. But if you have a bigger type, it has a lot of problems going inside the smaller one. So we need to see exactly how this is done, right? So in this video, now I'm going to talk about what conversions are possible. Now there are two types of conversions, all right? There is automatic and there is manual, just like you have always. Automatic is when the compiler does the conversions for you, right? And manual is when you have to explicitly do your stuff. Now let's talk about automatic conversions. Now whenever you're taking something small and trying to put it inside something big, the compiler does it automatically for you, all right? Now take a look at this. You have the smallest guy over here. It's called byte. It's just one byte in size. And then you have this guy called short, right? Now short is two bytes. The byte can easily go inside the short, all right? And then you have the int. Int is bigger than the short and the byte. It's four bytes, right? Byte can go inside an int, yes. Short can go inside an int, yes. And then you have a long in which you have the byte which can go inside. You have the short, which can go in. You have the int, which can go in. And last but not the least, these were integer types. Now we have decimal types, right? Like float and double. So let's talk about float, right? Now this float guy is bigger than a long. Let me tell you that. Even though long is eight and float is four bytes, float also stores the decimal points, remember? So float is bigger than long. And all four of them can go inside float, right? And then last but not the least, we have double, which is the biggest of all. It's eight bytes and it's the biggest data type. It's like, I'm the king, man. I can take anybody down. So all five of them can go inside the double. That's not an issue. And last but not the least, we have this weird guy who's the care. Now you're probably wondering, character, A, B, C, what the hell does it have to do with numbers and decimal points? We'll get to that in the next slide. But right now, here's what I want to tell you. Care can go inside the int char can go in the long, the float, the double without explicit casting, all right? So these things which you saw, these movements, they are the default types of the movements which the compiler supports, right? Now let's take an example and do this and see how this works. So now let's talk about a character, right? Like I said in the last slide, I said the character is capable of going inside integer and long. So if you say hello, what exactly does that mean? Your computer is not going to store this hello, right? It's going to store only binary stuff, zeros, ones, zeros, whatever. So how do you convert this text into binary, zero, one, and one, zero? For that, we use something, a table. Now this table, if you see, it looks pretty complicated. And you guys are like, whoa, what the hell is this, man? Now this thing is called an Ascari table. Or if you want to know the full form, do you really want to know it? All right, it's called American Standard Coded Information Interchange, something like that. You probably can Google this out. But that's not the point. The thing is this. If you see this table, there is something called DEC, which is the decimal value. Forget this hex. You have this something char, which is the character, right? So if you want to see hello is capital H, you just have to find capital H over here. The capital H has a value of 72 as per this table, right? Same way, you have capital small e, which has a value of 101. And then you have L, which is 108. It's right over here, L108. Same way, the other L is 108 as value. And last but not the least, we have O, which is 111, right? So all these numbers, these 
numbers are the integer values of a character right so what we do at this point is we simply take these numbers and we convert them to binary now if you take 72 it has a binary of 0 1 0 0 1 triple 0 now this is the value which the computer stores in short you had h which you entered that h was converted to 72 the 72 was converted to this and this 0 1 0 0 is going to be stored in the computer right this is how exactly stuff is stored and that is why you can convert characters to integers because characters also have integers inside them just like you saw now so let's talk about a type small to big so here is an example we have a number byte which is small right it has it has 124 inside it and we have a double big right so now we want to put this small that is 124 inside big so we'll say big equals to small and if you remember the assignment works right to left right the value is taken from the right and it's put inside the left so in this case this is perfectly fine there is no problem about it the compiler will support that but let's talk about big to small this is where we need to explicitly change the type okay so now let's talk about a big which is 15400 there is a double like this alright and there is a byte which is small one now we need to put the big inside small so we can say small equals to big the same thing right the value from big to small but here is the problem this is gonna give a nasty piece of error all right this is gonna say possible loss of precision now what does what that means is the number byte small can only hold values up to 127 right and you're trying to put 15400 inside it it is not gonna hold that value right so there is gonna be an error and that's exactly what this error tells us so what we do is we take big and we have to cut it we cut it by placing brackets and putting byte inside in short we are cutting the big double into a byte and now we give this to small this is explicit type casting the other one which you saw before was the type casting which your compiler automatically does so if you guys followed out exactly what was happening let's do a program on this and find out if this works as i said so i'm, I'm gonna use netbeans for this I'm gonna say control shift and n to create a new project java application click next give this a name converter click finish so at this point we have everything right now let's try this out first we have a small type say byte small is 128 this is the max oh that's an error you see that 127 is the maximum you can fit inside so now we have a double say big and it's nothing now we want to put the small inside big so we'll say big equals to small right and now we'll try and print this out print big out say control s for saving and shift f6 for running so as you see it's printing 127.0 it has converted byte to a double over here right at this statement exactly but now let's try to do the reverse thing and find out what happens and this time we'll take different stuff all right now let's take uh, something maybe like int big is 33,000 all right and you have a byte small now you want to put the value of small as big at this point just like I said if you click the mouse over it it's gonna say possible loss of precision right so what we do is we take this big we cut it into a byte remember that we cut it and next we simply print it out So now if I print small, you'll see something very funny. I'll say control S for saving, shift F6 for running. You'll see minus 24. And you're like, what the hell, man? I'll tell you what. Byte can only hold up to 127, right? So if you're putting 33,000 inside, it's not going to take that value. Instead, it's going to generate some garbage value over here. So what we can do is, if you had a value something like this, then it is perfectly fine. Let's say control S, shift F6. See that? when integer was within the range of byte it actually took the value easily inside and this way casting works in java whether we automatically whether the compiler does it or explicitly whether you do it so i hope you guys followed something out of this video if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment and let me know what you think about this i'll catch you guys later have a nice day